son of a bitch. Ow. Damn it. Shut up. Am I bleeding? I don't think so. Oh, I am. I'm fine. <sighs> All right, anyways. Back to what I was gonna say. So today we're gonna do something a little different. I keep hearing about these Wagyu's at Walmart. We're gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna see what they got. Pick us up three Wagyu's. Barbecue them up. See if they're anything close to a real Wagyu. It's hot, it's hot. Why is there a pot up here with water? So I was cooking potatoes. <sighs> Idiot. Came in like weeks ago. AC right now. Oh, I like this Turn the air on. Outside too. Alright, go inside and see if they have any of those Wagyu's. Throw them in here. I'm not waiting around to fill those up. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's a good looking ribeye, but there's only see I don't like the big fat piece in some of these ribeyes. They don't have a lot to choose from both we'll these these New York strips, $27 a pound. And they got three good ones, so let's go with these guys. I already got some Troy tips for the week. Eight forty-two a pound for this guy. Same for that guy. It looks like a good one. Here's a cheapy. This one's a cheap one. See how the see the difference in the marbling? Yeah, so this one's only six eighty-two. So I'm only saving a couple bucks. Should really probably just get the more expensive ones. But I feel guilty. See if there's any other steaks on sale. I'm not seeing nothing. Those are my favorite breakfasts. Let's go with breakfast blend. That'd be something different. Plus I like the orange. Ooh. Let's go with this stuff here. It's dark. It's okay. I like my coffee black like I like my... <laughs> Let's go see if they have any discounted apple pies. Nope. Apple pies? Damn it. There's Jen. Say hi, Jen. Hi. Alright, we're on the hunt for an apple pie here, so let's see if we can find something. Got the wagyu's and uh, we're gonna go home cook these puppies up and uh see if they're any good
We got the Wagyu's back from Walmart. They are Wagyu beef New York strip steaks. So, uh, American Wagyu, I assume. Anyways, $26.97 a piece. And they're all about three quarters of a pound each. Let's take a Mallard package and take a look here. All right, you never want to wash your meat either. You'll just spread bacteria all over the sink. What you want to do, if you want to do anything, is just, just pat them dry. That'll be, that's good enough. Actually, some really good looking steaks. As you can see, a nice marbling on it. Okay. I'm going to use some of this. I got it from Sullivan C. Tea and Spice Company. You can look them up on the internet. And this is actually some Viking salt. You can see Viking smoked salt. So we're going to give that a shot. Make sure your hands are all dry before you touch it or else it'll just stick to your hands. Been through this enough times. Alright, to get a nice even cook, you can do the sides and stuff also, but with the Wagyu, I feel like it's going to be very rich to begin with, so I don't want to put it on the sides also. Now we're going to cook these sous vide style. We're going to give them a water bath at 130 degrees for a couple hours. I'm going to vacuum seal these guys up first and uh, let them sit for a couple hours and then we'll give them a cook. sealed up let her sit we didn't get around them yesterday stuff came up so we're gonna go ahead and do these puppies today they've been sitting in their packages in the fridge for right about 24 hours so we're gonna do me and maddie's at like 133 water bath sous vide style and jen's she wants hers more raw so she's gonna do hers at 127 so let's get these guys on it's dang almost four o'clock it's 345 now so we'll give it about two and a half hours in the water put hers right on in here This one is me and Maddie's. Alright, so we'll come back in a couple hours and see how they're done. So it's almost seven o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and pull these babies off. That's three hours it spent. Me and Maddie's were at 133. Jen's was at 127. So I'm gonna take them out, let them sit for a minute. I'm gonna take them outside to bring you with me and uh, we'll char them up with some fire. Here's what she looks like right now. We'll cut her open in a minute. All right, when you do these soy bead like this, before we go fire them up on the grill, we wanna dry them off a little bit. Because when you, uh, you're trying to get the char on the outside. If they're wet, it makes it harder. You can see there's hardly anything in there. No loss of juice. Now, I don't want to take much seasoning off, although it sat for your full 24 hours with this seasoning on, so I don't think the seasoning is going to come off very easily. We just want to get the moisture off it so we can char it nice and easy. See, not much for seasoning is coming off. And I know they don't look very good right now, but just wait and see. All right, so we're going to let them sit for just a minute, and then we're going to take them outside, and we're going to put some fire on them. Here's what I'm going to use on them. After, and that's what we we're dealing with before. The inside's fully cooked. We're just working on the outside now. All right. There we go, guys. On off the press. What do you think? These two are the, this one's Maddie's, that one's mine, both at 133, and here's Jen's. Let's go cut them open and see what they look like. All right, first one up is Maddie's. Let's see how this baby looks. All 
right. That all. Okay, that one cut. See, I can see the nice striping of fat inside there at the pink meat. All right. All right. Now we're gonna I'm gonna cut Jen's open and we'll compare the colors. Look at that, all the oil glistening up there. Nice and pink. This Walmart Wagyu don't look too bad. Let's give it, a let's test a piece. The end pieces are my favorite. It don't taste like normal steak, that's for sure. I definitely recommend it. Is it worth 27 a pound? I'd buy it again. That's it for tonight. I right, go ahead and eat. Dogs are going to have heart attacks. Great fuckers. And we'll be back later. I just wanted to come back and uh, show this to you. Man. It's so freaking good. Look at Look how the oil just glistens on it. Huh? Walmart Wagyu. It's one of the best steaks I've ever had. You won't get them like that in a restaurant. Nothing I can afford at least. All right, later this night.